Hi guys. I wanted to tell you guys a little story because I was in the emergency room all day yesterday, literally for seven hours. And I wanted to give you guys an update as to why I was there and what the ending, I guess, diagnosis was of my body and how it's falling apart. So basically, like yesterday, I started feeling a really random pain, actually two days ago, and it was in like my bottom right stomach area. So I thought it was my appendix, cause that's where your appendix is. So I was texting my nurse friend and I was like, hey, I'm having this pain. It kind of feels like a period cramp almost, but like I get period cramps, you know, every month and they don't feel like this. So I don't know what this is. It's in a weird spot. It hurt more when I like walked around the room or when I like coughed or anything like that. And so she was like, hmm, that's concerning because your appendix should not hurt. And that's also where your uh, ovaries kind of are and your fallopian tubes or whatever. So she was like, okay, when was your last period? And I was like, well, my last period was a long time ago because I'm late for my period. I'm 10 days late. And I was like, but I have regular periods all the time. Like that's normal for me. And she was like, okay, well you need to take a pregnancy test anyway, just in case. And I was like, okay, why? And she was like, because you could have an ectopic or eptopic, I don't know how you say it, pregnancy, which basically just means that a baby is growing like where it's not supposed to grow, like on your fallopian tube or something crazy like that. It's very scary. So I was like, okay, so that was two nights ago. And I took a pregnancy test and it came out negative because I wasn't pregnant and I knew I wasn't pregnant, okay? But I took that anyway and I was like, okay, not pregnant. And she was like, okay, well, that's still concerning because again, the pain should not be happening there. So you should go to the doctor tomorrow. And she was like, go to the urgent care, but be careful because they might just send you the e to the ER because they're gonna have to like scan you and they don't really have that like stuff at the urgent care. They just have it at the ER. And if you guys don't know what the difference is between the urgent care and the ER in case you don't have it in your country or whatever, basically an urgent care is like a step up from the doctor's office. So it's like, if you don't wanna wait for an appointment because a lot of doctors you have to wait like a week or two. If you don't wanna wait for an appointment and you like, for example, you know, cut yourself a little deep, but not like crazy deep where you're like bleeding and gonna die or you're feeling really sick, you have the flu, something like that, where like, you're not gonna die necessarily, but you also can't wait a few days. Like you need to go to the hospital like now, but it's like not a super emergency. And like urgent cares aren't always open on the weekends. They're not open 24 seven. It's basically the middle of a doctor's office in an emergency room. And then an emergency room is basically like, I'm going to die or there's no urgent care open or I need something that the urgent care can't offer me. So I'm gonna go to the emergency room. Okay, so I really didn't want to go to the emergency room because it's really, really, really expensive. In case you didn't know, in America, it's thousands of dollars to go to the emergency room. The urgent care is a lot cheaper and it's usually just like a little copay or whatever. And then the emergency room is way more money. Like for example, your copay could be $30. Like that's how much you have to pay up front to go to the urgent care. And an emergency room is more like $300 or something like that. And then you'll get a bill in the mail that's like thousands of dollars obviously depending on your insurance, but America's weird, okay? Point is it's hella expensive and it's time consuming. There's always a way to the emergency room because there's people ahead of you who are bleeding out and dying or had a stroke or broke their arm or are going into labor or something like that. So you don't wanna go to the emergency room unless you really, really, really need to. And I did not want to, okay? So I made an appointment for the urgent care the next morning and this was yesterday morning. And I went at 11 a.m. And I was like, okay, my pain's not that bad. I really don't even wanna go, but I just wanna make sure I don't have a problem with with my appendix because that can be very, very dangerous. And I was like, I'm just gonna go. So I went in, they asked me the same questions. Like, when was your last period? Are you sure you're not pregnant? We should do a pregnancy test. And then she did all these tests on me because my pregnancy test came back negative, of course. And she basically pushed on my body in a bunch of weird spots. And some spots I felt pain and some spots I didn't. So that basically means I was like positive for some tests and negative for other tests. And so she was like, okay, you tested positive for some of these appendicitis tests and appendicitis is basically when your appendix is inflamed and it can rupture, AKA explode and kill you or hurt you really, really, really bad and you have to get surgery and you've got your appendix taken out potentially. It's really bad. So she was like, okay, you could be really early on in appendicitis because at first it starts out hurting just a little bit and not too bad. She's like, if you wait any longer to like get this checked out, then you might get vomiting, nausea and you might have really, really bad pain, like way worse than you're feeling now. So she was like, we need to scan you, like do a CT scan, which is kind of like an X-ray. Um, but we don't have that here at the urgent care. So you have to go to the emergency room. And I was like, girl, I was so bothered. I was like, I don't want to go to the emergency room. And you know what? This would be different 
if healthcare didn't cost so damn much in America. I wouldn't be worried about going to the emergency room. I wouldn't have to worry about getting a CT scan knowing it's gonna cost me a few thousand dollars or something like that because realistically that's how much it's gonna cost me when I get the bill in the mail, okay? But I was like, whatever, I have to go. I have no other choice, I have to go. So I sat in the waiting room for like an hour and then they took my blood and I peed in a cup or something and they took my vitals and they asked me some questions, but not really. Like I didn't really talk to a doctor this whole time. So then they're like, okay, go wait again. So I wait again for like two, three hours sitting in the waiting room and they're like, okay, we have a, a seat for you in the hallway, but we don't have any rooms available. So I sat in the hallway I have a picture of it. This is me in the hallway. It felt like a war zone. There were people with stretchers going by. There was someone over here screaming. Someone over here is bleeding. It was a very not fun place to be because I couldn't close the door and not see all this. I was in the hallway. It was not fun. And I waited in that chair, I think for another three hours. Like I was there for a total of like eight hours, I think. And I started to cry as I sat in the chair because I was like, I'm never gonna get out of here. I'm never gonna get out of this chair and I'm not even that much pain. I don't need to be here, but I can't leave. I had no service because there was none in that hallway for some reason and the Wi-Fi wasn't working. And so I wanted to tell Emin that I wanted to leave, but I also felt bad leaving because I was already there and I was in this pain and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I just sat and I waited. And finally, after like six hours, they wheeled me back to do my CT scan. So basically you lay on your back and you get under this like big ass, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a, I don't know, orb. I'll put a picture of it. It's very weird. And you get wheeled under and then they scan you and it takes like two minutes. So I waited like six hours for a two minute scan. Okay. And they're like, okay, the results will take about 30 minutes. Cause we have to send them over to like a technician who will read it. And then they're going to tell us the results because like we can't read it or whatever. And I was like, okay. So I go back to my little chair. I wait there. I sit there and a doctor comes up and he's like, Hey Danny, we did your scan. You don't have appendicitis, your appendix is fine. And I was like, cool. And he was like, and I didn't expect this at all. I did not expect him to say this. He was like, but you have a big old cyst on your ovary. And I was like, come again? What? And he was like, yeah, it's basically just like a sack of fluid that's hanging onto your ovary. And it's about six centimeters. That's like two inches, by the way. And he was like, but women get these all the time. Like yours is a bit bigger than it normally is. So that's why it's a little concerning, but they are really common. Like it's nothing to be too worried about. And I was like, how big are they supposed to be? Like how big are they normally? And he's like, oh, about one to two centimeters. So you're telling me I have a cyst on my ovary that is three to six times bigger than the average woman's cyst. He's like, yeah, so uh, we gotta do an ultrasound to really see like how big it is, what's going on. We gotta make sure there's not like blood flow being restricted to your ovary and that it's not gonna turn and twist and then you lose the ovary. I was like, okay. And I had no idea what this meant and I had no service. So I couldn't Google it and I was so worried and I just called him and I was like, um, this is what's happening. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna die. I don't know what's going on. Um, and I start texting my nurse friend and she starts explaining it to me. So they're really, really, really common. They happen all the time and they often go away on their own. But the size he was telling me was very large. Like that's not like a normal size. And it's not always like a safe size. So she was worried about that. And I was just waiting to get my ultrasound so I could really see it. And then I get my ultrasound like an hour later. So then they read the results and they're like, oh, actually it's like four and a half centimeters. And I was like, okay. And they were like, so that's more like moderate risk. It's not like high risk. So you just need to follow up with an OBGYN and like watch it and it'll probably go away on its own. Like that's what happens to most of them. And I love how they said that because it's like, what if it doesn't? Like I know people who've had a cyst rupture and that hurts apparently. And that's scary. I don't want it to rupture. I don't know if it, how am I supposed to know if it's gonna go away? I just wait, like I just get gynecologist appointments every now and then and just check on it, make sure it hasn't grown. How am I supposed to know that? How many inches is four and a half centimeters? Four and a half centimeters in inches is 1.7 inches, okay? I have a measuring tape. Let's see how big that is. 1.7 inches. Oh wait, before I look at that, let me look up how big your ovary is. Oh, that's good. A normal ovary is two and a half to five centimeters long. So you're telling me my ovary is about this big. Hello? It's about this big or maybe like two inches. It's maybe this big and my cyst is about the same size. I didn't know that. I thought it was like, Oh, your cyst is four and a half centimeters, but like your ovaries like 10 or something. 
You're telling me I have a cyst about the size of my ovary or bigger? I don't like that. And I feel like I keep having cramps there because it hurts. And I'm like, I feel like it's there and I feel like it's talking to me. And my friend and I, we named her Cystelia. <laughs> That's her name. And I feel like Cystelia keeps talking to me and she wants out. Oh, I, I literally felt it cramp as I was speaking. Do you know how weird that feels? I don't like it. I don't like this. Okay, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Now you know I have a cyst in my ovary and I don't wanna die or something, so that's all. That's why I had to go to the emergency room. I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> Goodbye.